Okay, so here we're going to look at controlling a servo, which is essentially a motor that you can control the specific angle of. Okay, so let's start with the wiring diagram as we usually do. So it's just three wires that come out of the servo. One goes into the ground. That's the black one that comes to, into the ground. The red one goes into the five volts. That's what gives it power. And then we control it using what we have here, this yellow wire, which goes into pin nine. So one goes to ground, one goes to five volts, and then one goes into nine, which we control uh, the angle with, okay? We then can head over and take a look at the uh, program here. You want to make sure that the library servo is uh, included. You've installed that. I believe it's a default, but if not, you can go ahead and install it. Again, coming up here, I can never find it. I believe it's under sketch, include a library and add zip file and make sure you include that servo one into that. Okay, uh, and that again calls certain different things. This is basically calling that program to set some things up on the servo. This is basically a variable that we're calling position. We're gonna start it at zero, but then we're gonna be able to control that variable, uh, that position there. Okay, so then I go into my void setup. Again, this is some stuff that uses the servo. Okay, the nine is basically the pin that I've attached the servo to. So again, that's the pin that controls things. Okay, so you let the, the, the subroutine within the library know that, okay, to set things up. And then my void loop is right here. Okay, and that void loop, basically what it does is it takes my position from zero to 180 and then writes to the servo that position and then delays 15 seconds. So what's gonna happen here is it, again, it starts at zero and that position goes up by one up to 180 each time writing a position, then waiting 15 thousandths of a second. And then it goes from 180 down to zero, subtracting one from the position each time, writing that position, waiting 15 seconds. So it's basically just gonna rotate back and forth between 180 and zero. Okay, so we'll go over to the picture. I'm just in, in putting in the five volt. I'm reattaching this. The thing is already running. And you can see what's happening is this thing is just rotating back and forth between zero and 180 degrees. Okay, so that's how we can control our servo.